すいません、ミュートでした。<笑>こんばんは。これで聞こえますどうですか皆さん、勉強してきましたそれとも、今日一緒に訳していく感じですかね ?OK。<笑>よかった、よかった。ちょっと配信慣れてないもんで、毎回なんかトラブルがありますね。えー、今日やるのがこれです。まあ言ったらスマートウォッチですね。<笑>このフィギュア1のこのズームが面白いんだよね。なんか衛星じゃなくてなんかドローンに追いかけられてるような<笑>風景にも見えなくはないけどね。なんかミッションインポスも出てくるような<笑>。えー、どうしましょうあ、面白いというコメントもらってよかったよかった<笑>。えー、じゃあ雑談しながらあのやっていきますので、あのコメントくださいね。あと、この。この翻訳に関するもんじゃなくても、あの、特許翻訳について何でも、どうい何,何の話してもいいんで。えー、じゃあ、ちょっとクレームいきなり訳するのが、ちょっと勇気がいるんで、ちょっとその前に軽く訳してきますね。Relates to、uh... Oh, 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 that's a lot of kanji. All right, so it's a mobile device. Inside the device is an antenna. And we also have that description there. All right.、Uh, let's see what we get if we just look this up. Actually, looking up. Things is the most important skill I find in translating. Translating skill and search skill. Portable device with provided with an antenna is going to give us the same information twice. えー、そうなのえー、どうしよう。前と同じあれですかね。顔じゃなくて、このカロスのこの画面ですかえー、なん、えー、なんでしょうね。うんうん、それがそっちの携帯のあれじゃないですかね。バッファリングって言われるんですけど。こっちの設定の問題なんかね。あごめんあ。設定を変えてみてもいいけど。えー、こん。どうですかね。見えるので大丈夫ごめんなさいね。ちょっと今日の配信をちょっと見返してみます。こっちの設定の問題なのか。ごめんなさいね。じゃあ戻りますね。こういう書き方にすると。これになってしまうんだよな。重複して。Uh, can we put it in front? Antenna. 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 
portable vice with the and inbuilt antenna provided with an inbuilt antenna. I got dot image. Right. 
and it could have an opening on another side. It's this kind of saying that could be one opening or it could be two openings. And that's how we've left it in the English as well. All right, next one. What's our next element? Uh, this one I see often. Um, light transmitting is how I usually describe it. You can say transparent. There's a few other words like that. I think light transmitting is the most correct. Um, this is the word right with this, transparent. So it's just like glass. Glass or something see-through. Is how we call it in English. So yeah, translucent, transmissive. There's lots of words. But light transmitting is the one that I usually use. So a light transmitting member. And, all right, so it blocks our opening. Blocking the opening. So there we have the relationship between the two elements already. When you're translating claims, it's the relationship between the elements that you're always thinking about. So it's nice when you have you know, A, member A, and then member B, and you already have this relationship building up. So this is just the, the glass or the plastic on top of the watch. Right, what's the next element? A bezel. What is a bezel? It's a metal thing on the, so we've got front side, here it's just the front, it's going to be interesting. Okay, who knows what a bezel, bezel is? Is it an English word, is it just bezel in English? It is, it's just bezel. Any smart cookies out there that know what a bezel is? While I'm looking, <laughs> a bezel watch. Right, the bezel is what is the bezel? Bezel watch meaning. So it's a grooved ring holding the cover of a watch face or other instruments in position. A bezel is a grooved watch face that holds things in place. So I kind of want to see this in the drawing. So let's quickly jump to the Jump around and see if we can find the number for bezel. Bezel is 16. Let's look at our drawings. Where did our drawing go? That's why I love. That's why I love translating patents because you always have a drawing to look at. If you're ever in trouble, there's always drawings that you can look at. There's always prior art you can look at. All right, number sixteen. Where's number sixteen? All right, so here's number sixteen. So it just looks like it uh, sort of sits in the opening. Okay, okay, okay. So this okay, it's kind of going to be a bit grooved. It's a recess that other parts fit into, it looks like. That's the bezel. We learnt a new word, bezel. I'm sure all those watch freaks out there are going, how can you not know bezel? How can you not know what a bezel is? All right, so let's go, a metal bezel. If this is scary, if you don't want to put it in front, you can put it after, made of metal. So where is it? So first it is attached on a front surface. So up the front, up the top, we do translated this as a front side. We'll just go back in the front surface side. If this doesn't appear as an element by itself, front side is okay. My 
making a choice there. Ah. Let me quickly see if I can fix that. Uh, uh. How's that? Is that any better? If I talk now, is it still coming out okay or not good? That's better? Oh, awesome. That was an easy fix. Nice, nice. Uh, thank you for that. Alright, so now we're back to our bezel. It's attached to a it's attached on a front surface of the outer case. So it's got two positions. It's positioned here and it's also positioned around the the glass member, the see-through member. So it's kind of it's almost like in between them. It's it fits inside the glass case and that sort of fits around the glass and holds it in place. So two restrictions on location and where's my and disposed around the light transmitting member. Around is fine there. Alright. Good good. Right, last one, last element we got here. Uh, we've got an antenna. All right, the important one. The antenna. An antenna disposed in a space for KUKA. And where is this? It's inside the case. A space inside the outer case. So yeah, this is just inside. It's just it's a case. The antenna is inside that. Too easy. Comma we're in. We're in our we're in. Our we're in section. So what's going to be special about this? So the we're adding a restriction to the antenna. So let's have a look what this is. The antenna has a maximum emission direction that has a relationship to this direction and okay I'm just not sure whether this so this direction has is further being defined it's this direction is in this relationship with this direction and also okay so this antenna is this antenna it's disposed so that this direction has these two relationships okay that's how we're treating this claim. The antenna is a... what is this? Is this just a... it's not going to be anything fancy is it? I have just a planar antenna? Planar antenna, is that a real thing? Just do a quick search. A planar antenna is a real thing? Good, good. Is a planar antenna disposed with a maximum so we're using width here we might come back to this later for how to translate this it might be wrong we'll come back to it so the antenna has this property this maximum emission direction
maximum emission direction. And this direction, actually, I want to let me see. I'm not sure what this term means. And I mean, this this translation, this Japanese isn't difficult. It's just I want to know what this term means. Let's see if this explanation is in the specification. I would love it if there's just a paragraph saying maximum. So it's R1. All right, so in our picture it's R1. Let's see if we can find R1 anywhere. R1, R1. All right, looks like you're in this one. So the maximum emission direction is coming out this way. And our antenna is 30. So our antenna is this part here and its maximum emission direction, which just means it gets out it can send and receive best in this direction is out here. So this seems to be the key element of the invention, this direction here. Right, good, good. So it's planar antenna disposed with a maximum emission direction. Course that is just intersecting, or is this going to be like directly orthogonal. I think it's just intersecting. So this direction intersects. Intersecting a uh, thickness direction of the outer case. So the outer case is this way. The thickness direction is this way. And the maximum emission direction goes out at an angle intersecting the thickness direction and so the bezel is also just that round ring sitting up on the outer side so the bezel outer side is probably this radial direction out So let's just make sure the bezel was 16 and the outside of it is out here. So you've got the antenna coming out this side. And so it's a direction, a direction facing. Hmm, not quite sure what this is saying here. So this direction intersects this direction. Okay, we've got that. But this direction also faces the outer direction of the bezel, which is this way. So is it meaning, hmm, let's see if we can quickly find Kaoho. Let's see if we can quickly find this in the specification. I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. Let's see if we can get some numbers here. All right, so yeah, so R1 and A1, that's the thickness direction. Thickness direction should be up and down that's here. Uh, one is out here and the whole code which is how is it? Hmm. So this probably isn't the direction. This is probably talking about the antenna is disposed so that it faces a direction 
away from that. I think I see what this means now. Okay. So what this means is the antenna is disposed facing kind of radially outward. So it kind of faces this way, its main direction is this way. It's disposed. And so I want to say that disposed facing I want to say that this is describing this but it's probably not right because you do have this here which is basically saying A and B but how far does this go? It's just weird to say that this direction is disposed in this direction. What I think it's saying is that facing a direction away from the bezel. This is what I think it's trying to say. The antenna is an antenna disposed Oh, but you do need this. Okay, so it is talking about this direction. And this direction is also... It's weird, it's weird when you talk about directions. This direction is also kind of pointing away from the bezel. Maximum direction intersecting. Maximum direction in a direction it's just saying that this is outside of here so this comes out at a position further out from this point that's all it's saying so the maximum direction intersecting the thickness direction and in a direction so this is a good way to say this actually. This direction is in a direction. You don't need to translate this part. In a direction facing away from the bezel. In a direction facing away from the bezel. It's a little bit wrong. It's just saying that it's outside of that range of the bezel. Direction facing. Facing. In a direction facing. Outward from the bezel. Let's stick with that. So I think this could get worded a bit better but it's pretty tricky and I just want to move on here. So it's saying that this antenna has this direction, which is this direction coming out here. This is the antenna. This is the direction. And it, this direction intersects, intersects this thickness direction because it comes out at an angle. That's also in a direction that comes past this point here. Sorry if you can't see my cursor good enough. All right. Man, these are kind of tricky. <laughs> I should probably look at these beforehand a bit more. All right, we've got two more sections here. So one more restriction on the antenna. The antenna, the antenna is disposed at a position that does not overlap with the bezel in this direction. All right, good, good. So you can see how just looking at the Japanese quickly, you can find the structure of the English. The antenna is disposed at a position that does not overlap 
the bezel in this direction. The antenna is disposed at a position that does not overlap the bezel antenna. I'm not. Mm. This English is a little bit weird. The antenna is disposed at a position that does not overlap the bezel. The position does not overlap the bezel. I want to say the antenna does not position so that the end. This is what this is what I really want to say. And I'm not sure whether you need to say that much. I think you can just cut this out at a position that does not overlap the bezel. Now in what direction? In in the maximum emission direction. So that's just from up above. So there we go, looking good. Oh, Spanish comment. Spengo wa hanasemasen, gomen nasaine. Alright, that seems easy enough. So it's just saying that this antenna here is disposed so that this does not overlap. You can see that relationship here. It was kind of alluded to in the previous section. All right, last one. Again, the antenna. A portion of the antenna, at least a portion, あ、日本人ですね。って感じじゃないですか。スペインっていい国って感じがしますね。なんか今世界いろんなところで大変なことが起きてんやけど、スペインがなんかみんなそれ気にせずにのんびりのんびりじゃなくて情熱の国な。<笑><笑> その、なんていうか、その切り替えがleast a portion of the antenna. What do we got? Okay, so it does overlap. What does it overlap? It overlaps a portion of the bezel. So at least a portion of the antenna overlaps. So we got the overlap from here. A portion. We've got to go at least a portion of the bezel. We got that, and now we need the direction here in a thickness direction of the outer case. Ta da! Do this ka? Chuto isoi de yattan de machigai ga haitsuru kamo shiranai ga daitai konna mon desu ka ne? Like a Seikyuko Ichi 
をやるのがあのベストだと思ったんやけど。<laughs> Thank you, Byron. My boy is just bringing me my pillow that he stole. <laughs> So, thank you, Ichi. やるのがベストやと思ったんやけど、なんかやり足りないというか、物足りないんですよね。So, 次回は違うところ、あるいはもっと、あのー、いっぱい訳すと、いろいろちょっと計画してみます。あのもしこういうところが、あのー、訳してほしい。なんか自分がいつもバックグラウンドとか、あのー、自主例のところとか、よく悩むところとか、そういうのがあったらぜひ教えてくださいね。何でもします。えー、じゃあ、終わり<笑>どうですかまだ行きますみんなどう、どうしてるんですか訳しながら見てます事前に訳して、見たりしますそれとも僕の声だけをこう聞いて楽しんでますかね<笑>じゃあちょっとあのオンコアということでもう一個いきますかなあ予習はねそうもうフリーランスだったらなそんな勉強をする時間があったらそれを仕事に仕事をするんだよな。<笑>なんか昨日だってなんか夜の中にちょっとその隙間時間があってこの時間を使ってなんかゲームとかしようと思ったら最終的に結局仕事してあこれで1万とか2万円稼いだわってちょっと満足してしまって寝たんだけどな、昨日は。<笑>じゃあもう、もう,もうちょっと行きますか。All right. じゃあ、The、えー、I'm just、uh, talking to my friends. That's my job. You got this English and you translate it into English. I'm、oh, sorry, from Japanese into English. <laughs> you want to see? Sorry, my boy is here.、Uh, let's have a look. All right. So, you want to see Daddy work? The portable device with a built in antenna. That's how it was up here, right? With a built in antenna. Nice, nice. よし、according to claim one.Thank <笑> you, Byron. <笑> My little boy loves Pokemon.Alright, let's go. So, one more. The antenna. Right, the antenna has a dimension. A daichi schema ho ho. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can get a number for this and have a look in the picture for it. Alright, it's in here somewhere. So H1 and H2 are these. So let's have a look at H1 and H2 and see if we can get an answer. Yes, I have three kids. Three. I am H1 and H2. Yeah, I had to sneak away from dinner to do to do this tonight. So they're like, where's daddy? Where's daddy? It's the antenna. Let's just go includes for now. Our first schema. I can just use gap, right? Gap dimension. Which is、uh, 
do I need this here? Which is a gap dimension, which is a minimum. Minimum gap dimension in a direction orthogonal to the maximum emission direction. You want to see the kids? Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to put my kids on YouTube and make a living from that, right? <laughs> but I don't know. It's funny. No, my kids are cute. Maybe one day. Even on Twitter, I don't usually show their pictures, but like I, I had the idea of like my wife, her hobby is actually icing. Do you guys know what icing is? Icing cookies? Like, I don't know if I've got a picture for you. I'll see if I can quickly find a picture. Icing cookies. So like my wife makes these sort of cookies. My wife makes kind of like these sort of cookies as her hobby. And she does it with the kids. So the kids are making these beautiful cookies together, right? And I'm like, this is a great idea. Let's make a YouTube channel about my wife icing with the kids doing it. But my wife was like, no, no. She's scared about the internet and privacy and those things. But hopefully one day, one day you'll see my kids. So I've got three kids, Amber, Amber's the oldest, then Byron, boy in the middle, and then the youngest is a girl again, Gemma. Hopefully you'll see him one day. Um, this is H1, right? So H1 here, so it's between the bezel and the antenna there. The antenna includes the first gap dimension. So it's just how big this gap is between the antenna and the bezel. Between the bezel. I think we have to put in bezel and the, I think we have to add this in here. So the first gap dimension isn't include, it's not the antenna includes, it's so this does not include this. So let's change this. A first gap dimension. Should we put it here between the antenna and the bezel? Is a minimum gap. So the first gap dimension between the antenna and the bezel is a minimum gap dimension, just a, the smallest size of the gap between the two in a direction orthogonal to the maximum emission direction. Okay, that looks good. Now what's the second part? And it is, okay, so this is the antenna. So let's make a bit of space for us up here. The antenna is disposed at a position. Do you, does everyone like using position or location? I always use position, but I always wonder if people use location as well. Disposed at a location. What is this? All right, this is another thing. Post editing, you did. It's common now, right? But how, like, post editing, there's still, how do you say, are you still getting paid as a translator or is it paid as a reviewer? Because even as a translator, I do post editing all the time, but it requires just almost deleting 
the machine translation and then just translating as normal. Are you still getting paid as a translator and doing post editing or is it more review? Because things, things are really changing how more and more companies are uh, are buying those machine translation engines. I know the one I work with is getting better and better too. So how did you feel? How did you feel about your post post editing? Let's just see if I can quickly get a get a number for this. Okay, so it's just a so this just means how much. So it's just a magnitude of like one millimeter or something. Which means that this distance. So the antenna is disposed so that this distance is greater than this distance. All right, antenna suppose at a position with a gap dimension between the antenna and the bezel. Oh, let's go back to which is our minimum gap direction. We get rid of this because we put that up the top. being uh, a preset first dimension or greater. So how's that? Oh, okay. Come on. Tell us, tell us, tell us now. I mean, I've been working with post editing for a while now and yeah it's it's getting better and better i don't know which companies are being are using which engines but the best engines out there are reaching a usable level so again your experience will depend on what engine the company used so that's not a complete picture so just remember that that there are many engines out there there are many machine translation engines out there that produce different results some are better than others but it is the future it is the future all right so i think we just did our second Claim there. Any questions about that one? If not, I will be ending the stream soon. But yeah, I mean, I don't know how everyone feels about post editing. I mean, Kikai Honyaku ga kimasu yo ne. Yakudo, jibun no keiken kara.言うと、データの管理、そのメモリとか、その用語とか、そのメモリの管理をしっかりしてる会社がまだ少ないんですよね。その何というか、機械翻訳のこのエンジンにもう丸投げ、するわけですよ。それやとやっぱ丸うまく
うまくなっていくんで完全そのゼロからの翻訳がなくなりますね。まあ、やけど、なんていうか、請求こう、明細書の8割ぐらいは、まあ、正直言ったら、機械翻訳でもできるもんですよ。明細書の難しいとこ、その一部しかないんですよね。だから、で,でもそこが大事ですよ。あの難しいとこがあります。で、発明を理解してないとそこを訳せない。で、絶対、あのいくらその機械翻訳の性能があってもね、そのここをちゃんと理解、発明理解してない人じゃないとこれ訳せない。問題が絶対出てくるわけですよ。入ってその全部機械翻訳でやってで、はい、デビューしてくださいっていうそういうプロセスやったらデビューする人がすごい大変ですよそのデビューの負担がすごい大きいんで発明をちゃんと理解してない状態でデビューしていくわけですよでその延長線でやっぱりその難しい機械翻訳がちょっと間違って翻訳したものをピックアップしない。あの、そういう、そういうことがやっぱもう出てきますよね。まあ言いたいのが結局、翻訳することによってそれを理解していくわけですよ。その本、その発明。だからそういう固定がなくなるのが、まあ危険。やっぱどっかの、そのプロセスのどっかにそういうプロ、その理解できる人がいないとあのうまくいかないんで、我々の仕事がなくならないと思うけどね。ちょっと、あの、話がそれましたが、えー、どうですかこれで、終わりにします。たくさんコメントありがとうございますね、今日。やっぱコメントもらうと嬉しい。まあ、こうして雑談しながら、あのー、やっていきたいんで、次回もぜひ立ち寄ってみてください。えー、じゃあ、終わります。お疲れ様でした。また来週。仕事に戻ります。<笑>皆さん、仕事に戻るんですかね、これからは。Our post editing skills? Yeah, that's the thing. Post editing is、mm, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. See what's, see, what's going to happen is the, the skill of the editing in the review is not going to increase. What's going to happen is the, is the allowable level is going to decrease. What I mean is that even bad translations are going to be allowed. Because we need machine translation to process all this, we're going to become more tolerant of bad translations. So, in, in that case, thinking about that, then yeah, our jobs might go away, but I don't know. I think high quality translations will still be valued for a while yet. But yeah, okay. All right, see you guys next week. Don't forget to join the Discord and chat in there. I'm always on Discord anytime. So, yeah. All right, see you guys.